Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it's Friday, so let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in every single Friday, and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Friday. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. I actually just got home from boot camp, got ready for the day, and mixed up my Motivate Burn. I have shared Motivate with you guys time and time again on my channel, and I was on their website perusing because there's a flavor of the burn that I haven't tried yet, and so I had to get my hands on it. And when I was on their website, I saw that they were having a huge, huge New Year's Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle promotion. The Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle is $50 off. That's an incredible deal. And I do have a discount code with Motivate. I'll leave it down below for you. You may be able to stack those codes on the website. So the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle includes three products, one of which is the Burn. That is what is in my cup today. It is so incredibly delicious. I have several of the flavors. This particular one is the Cherry Lemonade. This is the first one that I tried and the one that got me hooked on burn. So the burn comes in a whole bunch of flavors and that's what prompted me to get on their website because it comes in the flavor cotton candy. I did not know that so I will absolutely be picking that up. This is cherry lemonade, there's cotton candy, island punch, watermelon, orange burst, mixed berry. It also comes in a capsule form. If you didn't want the powder, you can select the capsules. And there's a no stim Miami lemonade. So the no stim is not going to have the 300 milligrams of caffeine that the traditional burn has. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, just make sure you're picking up the no stim version. If you want a little bit of a caffeine boost, similar to what you're going to find in an energy drink, you can grab the regular Motivate Burn. So you're going to receive a full-size tub of powder or a full-size bottle of the capsules. So quickly about burn if you're new to motivate, which I've shared this a million times on my channel, but what burn does is it helps increase your energy, reduces your appetite, helps with fat burning, and gives you all day energy without the crash. It is absolutely delicious. It is sugar-free. It is zero points on WW. And I add it to my water, which I like the powder because not only does it taste really good, but it helps me get in my water as well. So highly, highly recommend burn. I have several flavors because I pretty much use it every single day. Also in the bundle are the detox capsules. What's great about these is not even, is not really their detox properties. I always say that our body detoxes naturally, so we don't need to follow any detox diets or cleanses or anything like that. However, there's a lot of beneficial properties of the detox capsules. They help increase your ability to digest food, absorption of nutrients, and can alleviate a lot of common digestive disorders. I also love that the detox helps support weight loss. The two main ingredients in here are going to be bentonite clay and psyllium seed. You're also going to find cascara sagrada, peppermint leaves, and aloe, as well as barberry and turkey rhubarb. All of these ingredients are revolutionary in the detox capsules. And again, it helps promote digestive health and aids in weight loss. So you're going to receive the full size bottle as part of the weight loss bundle. And the last product is the Motivate Sleep. Now I don't have this yet. I've been go. I am going to be trying this out in the future, but you're going to get a full size bottle similar to the detox of the Motivate Sleep. It's been scientifically formulated to boost metabolism, improve sleep, and speed up the fat loss process. It's a natural sleep aid that helps with relaxation and sleep that your body needs. You can get a deeper level of sleep where your body can naturally regulate your hormones. Plus, that plays a major role in your metabolism and hunger. You want to take two capsules of Motivate Sleep 20 to 30 minutes before bed, preferably on an empty stomach. So like I said, I'll be picking this up in the future. I always say that I struggle with sleep and I need some type of sleep aid nightly in order to get quality sleep. I don't always have a problem going to sleep 
sleep, it's staying asleep. That's my problem. So I am very excited to try the Motivate Sleep because I love literally all the Motivate products. I have them all and I have been absolutely impressed with every single one of them. So I will link the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle down below for you with all the discount information. Highly, highly recommend. You can't beat it. You're saving $50 on amazing, amazing products. So now let's jump in to my week. It's been a pretty good week. I did start my cycle this week, which as we know is never a good time. I find that I'm a little bit more fatigued and tired and I'm really, really hungry leading up to it, which was this last week. So I did allow myself to have some of my favorite foods. I mean, Troy and I got some donuts from Dunkin', so I had a donut one day. I have candy canes left over from Christmas. I ate those. I just worked them into my day. There's nothing wrong with having a sweet treat or an indulgent treat every single day. You just work it into your day. That really helped me stay on track and not overindulge and overdo it by, like I said, allowing myself to have something that I really enjoy every single day. That's one of the key components that I've, that I've noticed about healing my relationship with food is I no longer binge on things because I do allow myself to have my favorite foods daily. Despite being on my cycle, I was still able to get all of my workouts in. I've been loving boot camp. In fact, on Monday it was raining and I still went to boot camp. I still was outside in the rain getting my exercise in because we know my word for 2023 is consistent and I'm going to be consistent rain or shine. Lucky for me, it doesn't rain a whole lot in Arizona. So one day out in the rain for an hour to get in my boot camp session was well worth it for me. I had something that I really enjoyed indulgent wise every single day, got in all of my water. I'm telling you the Motivate Burn really helps me get in my water because it tastes really good. And like I said, I can get in a full 30, 40 ounces of water with one scoop. Overall, I would make, rate my week about a nine out of 10. And as I continue through the month of January, I'm realizing more and more where I am in my journey and kind of what my goals are moving forward. I've mentioned that I will be sharing a huge kind of update we need to chat video towards the end of the month. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss it. But before we jump in to this week's weigh-in, let's talk about the WW workshop topic. I'm really excited about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to make activity a little bit more fun. I just mentioned that I work out seven days a week, move my body seven days a week. For me, finding something that's actually fun and that I enjoy has been a game changer for me. It makes me excited about getting in my workout. It's something that I can be consistent with, something that I can stick with, and something I actually look forward to instead of dread. So we're going to talk about how to make activity a little bit more enjoyable. When the new year happens, we want a fresh start. We get really motivated to do all the things. We think we're going to go sweat in the gym for two hours every day. But if what we're doing to move our body isn't enjoyable, we're not going to stick with it. By February, we're going to stop going to the gym. So WW wants to share some tips and tricks with us on how to make activity something we can stick with and enjoy. So first of all, try this. Which sounds most like you? I love the energy of a group meeting new people is fun. Or I prefer being alone. I prefer being active alone but want encouragement. Or I enjoy being active with loved ones that I trust. Now you can get other people involved. So if you're someone that loves the energy of a group, join a local sports league or activity group like a hiking or gardening club. If you want to be alone but enjoy the encouragement, set activity goals and check in with a supportive person weekly to discuss. Or maybe you just want to focus on being active with your loved ones. Make a regular walking date with a pal, the pal IRL, or while catching up over the phone. You can actually leverage your WW community. This, this includes me and my Facebook group as well. So if you like the group setting, engage often with a connect group for your favorite activity. If you want to be active with accountability, share your goals and wins on connect with your coach or at your WW workshop. Or if you want to focus on your loved ones, post an activity photo on connect. Ask a fellow WW menu to member to join you. Write out a plan to amplify your activity. I'm going to involve person or group when I do such activity on such day or date. Now, you guys know I go to boot camp three days a week. One of the main reasons that I joined boot camp is for the community aspect. We moved to Arizona about a year ago, knowing absolutely nobody except for my in-laws. So I knew that if I engaged in some type of a group activity, it would help me build a community. But even more importantly than that, it's accountability. They depend on me to be there Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I can guarantee you, if I didn't show up, I would be getting some type of message either from the bootcamp instructor or my good friend Kate 
who I met at boot camp. I have really enjoyed the accountability and the community that comes along with group activity, but I also like to work out alone. When I'm going to the gym and lifting weights, I want to do it by myself. I enjoy taking walks with friends. I kind of fall into all three of these categories. You have to figure out what type of activity person are you and then find what works for you. Think about the most fun workout you've had. Was it by yourself? Was it in a group? Was it with a friend? Was it with a family member? Think about what types of activities you've done in the past that you've really enjoyed. As humans, we feel the need to connect with others. Sometimes we want to connect and sometimes we just want to be by ourselves. So depending on the type of personality you have or the type of workouts you enjoy, make sure that whatever you're doing on a regular basis is something that you feel compelled to continue to do, that excites you, that motivates you. Moving is the key to success, whatever that movement is. Finding a way to move your body every single day or several times a week that you enjoy is really the key to success. Not only is it going to help you with your health journey, your weight loss journey, you may make some new friends and you may find something that you really feel invested in and grow to love. I never thought that I would love working out. I never thought that I would like doing burpees or mountain climbers or bear crawls or running. I never thought I would like any of those things, but because it's an activity that I enjoy, I've grown to really love all of those activities. In fact, I just did a 5k last Saturday with my boot camp group. That was something I've really never done before. And that was so much fun to have the camaraderie and the support of all the members of my boot camp group. I also love going to the gym and lifting weights by myself and just focusing on building lean muscle. Find what works for you because that's what you're going to stick with long term. So again, I really like this workshop topic. I think it's really important again to find an activity that you enjoy that you'll stick with. That's the key to success truly when it comes to exercising is enjoying it. So now let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. Like I've mentioned several times, January is my month of enlightenment. I'm trying to figure out where I am in my weight loss journey. Am I, is my body where it's going to be? Am I going to be able to shed any more weight or am I going to, or is this the weight that my body is going to stay at because of the loose skin that I have, the lean muscle that I have, and the amount of fat left on my body. As I promise, I will be sharing a huge update video where we'll talk about my body skin we'll talk about loose skin, plastic surgery. It's going to be a very interesting video. So again, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. So I wanted to see again what my body was going to do this month. And like I said, I'm currently on my cycle. I started my cycle this week. So I didn't really have high hopes for this week's weigh-in, but when I stepped on the scale, I'm actually down a tiny, tiny bit. Point Two, which I guess is a huge success being on my cycle and again really not having a lot of weight left to use. Anything in the downward projection I guess is a great thing. I maintained my weight last week which I was thrilled about and I'm down a tiny bit this week point two. I'll go ahead and put up here on the screen my overall weight loss so far. So I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I'd be happy maintaining. This is a month of discovery for me. And so far it's been a very, very good month of learning more about my body and really where I am in my journey. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know where you are in your journey. How was your weight loss? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think about finding an activity that you enjoy? And let us know what's your favorite way to move your body down below. Maybe you'll inspire someone to try out a new activity that they may fall in love with. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out the weight loss bundle on the Motivate website. I'll link everything down below for you as well as my Facebook group. Come join us there. Nutrition coaching and links and discounts to my favorite things. Thank you so much for watching friends. Happy Friday and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. You're not going to want to miss it. Bye.